Hey guys and girls, you land, it's just me, Jamie, and I am making stuffed lasagna, or lasagna stuffed bell peppers tonight. Um, I finally got a shower, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so there's a couple of ingredients, just not very many, just a few. So we've got a pound of beef. Um, I don't know why he got 93% lean, but whatever, it's not like we're on keto or anything. Um, so we're going to use a pound of that. Thank you, kiddo, I love you. Um... We're going to use a cup of the whole milk ricotta. Um, this has 6 grams of carb and 5 grams of protein. Um, I will probably add a scoop of isopure to that just to give it added protein. Um, because I'm only using a pound of ground beef and that's going to stretch for 8 um, of my bell peppers. And then we've got Parmesan and mozzarella, which we're using in small amounts just to top off the lasagna bell peppers. We've got seasoning. This is a new seasoning that I've been using. It's the McCormick All-Purpose Seasoning Basil Oregano Garlic Seasoning with sea salt. Um, we've got granulated garlic and granulated onion. Um, and of course, my bell peppers, which are in the refrigerator. Let me get into my drawer for my imperfect produce and get all four of my bell peppers out. I'm going to use these first because they've been in here longer. And I've still got two bell peppers left. Sorry for the wonky camera. Um, so the bell peppers, I am going to slice and clean the seeds out and I'm going to bake them for 20 minutes. Um, I may put them in the air fryer but it just depends. So um, I think I'll probably bake them at like 300 degrees. But I'll do that after we get home. We have to stop by my in-laws to I have to teach them how to make Parmesan chips. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make the beef. Um, and then once I do that, I will, oh, I also forgot the sauce. Sorry. I'm going to make the beef and then I'll mix in the sauce and the ricotta and just kind of set that to the side. And then when I get home, I'll show you how to make the rest of it. This is what I use for my marinara sauce. It's kind of expensive. It's about $8 a jar. Depending on where you go, it might be a little cheaper. But it's Rayo's, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, homemade marinara sauce. And I like it because it's only got 4 grams of carb per half cup. And I really only need maybe like half of this, which is like 16 grams of carb. So, um... There's like two, I think 2.7 grams of fiber or 2.4 grams of fiber in this meal. So it comes out to having like four point something grams of carb in it, which is not bad at all. And I really don't even like to count the carbs for the bell peppers because they're vegetables. I know they count, but I'm, I'm really going to stop worrying about the carbs and the, the veggies because they're good carbs. Um... I don't eat high carb vegetables, so I'm not going to worry too much about the carbs and the good vegetables that I do eat. Um, that being said, I will be back to show you how to get everything taken care of. I'm just going to cook the beef. I may add some onions in. Um, I probably won't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cook the beef. I'm going to season it with these three seasonings and maybe a little extra salt. Um, I'm going to mix in half of this jar of tomato sauce and one cup of the ricotta, and I'm just going to let it sit, and then I'll be back to assemble the peppers later. Hey guys and girls, welcome back. So I have the hamburger meat mixed up. I did not drain it. There wasn't really enough fat to drain off of it anyway. Um, I mixed in one cup of the Rayo's marinara sauce. I mixed in the isopure mixed with the ricotta together. Um, it is all in there now. I'm going to cover that and let that sit. I did um, look it up. It is 4.7 um, grams of carb for the um, whole meal, just for one bell pepper, um, which really isn't bad considering that all of those carbs come from the bell peppers. So don't beat yourself up too bad about it um, because the amount of carbs that you're getting from the Rayo sauce, it's one full cup which means it's 8 grams of carb divided by 8 bell pepper halves. So that's a gram each. So really the only, and that's, that's tomatoes. There's no added sugar in that sauce. So that's also just tomatoes and just the, the fresh ingredients that they use in the Rayo sauce. So you're not getting any really bad carbs in this meal at all. 
Um, even in the ricotta, the ricotta is like, let me see, just to remind us. Yeah, the ricotta has six grams of carb spread out over eight. It's negligible. Um, and it's from dairy, so it's not like you're adding sugars or anything to this. So just keep that in mind as you're making this. If you're really carb conscious, don't beat yourself up about it. This is going to be something that's really good and yummy. And if you are eating keto, you don't want to feel like you're on a diet. You want to feel full. You want to feel like you're satisfied and like you had something that you really wanted. Um, and who doesn't want lasagna? So anyway, um, I will post pictures and videos um, on my Instagram and on here once I'm done with this tonight. And I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Um, it does have 26 point something grams of um, protein, and I'll look up the fat here in just a little bit. I'll give you guys the macros at the end of the video. All right, thank you. Hey guys and girls, it is just me, Jamie, again. Um, I just wanted to let you know I just put the bell peppers in. I sliced them in half. You can leave them whole if you want, but it just gives you more carbs. Um, so I've got them separated out. Sorry for the fog. Um, got them separated out. In the oven, I'm just going to put them in there for about 15-20 minutes um, and let them get soft. I'm going to then put the mixture into them, top them with Parmesan and mozzarella cheese, put them back in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes to an hour. That's pretty much it. And I'll send you a, or show you a picture of them at the end and then I'll give you the macro. Okay people, so I am back with the completed um, low carb lasagna stuffed bell peppers. That's them. They're going to be quite yummy. I'm excited to eat them, and that is it. Enjoy. If you have any questions, concerns, tips, tricks, whatever, let me know. Um, I'm also going to post them on Instagram, and you can find me there at just underscore me underscore Jamie1. Okay, bye. I completely forgot to let you know about the macros. It's 7.1 grams of carb per serving for the bell peppers. 17 grams of fat, and then 26.2 grams of protein. Thanks, bye.